here to diagnose and hit seed data. Here's all your rows. You can page down, see more rows or page up. And green is good, so it's giving you all of these values for every single seed, seed tube sensor. And you can, here's a seed count, you can come up here and hit reset, and it just starts, starts, just restarts it from counting at zero. It's just a handy way for diagnosing because you can see the exact, exactly how many seeds that sensor is seeing compared with the other sensors next to it or whatever. So if you're, if you're on hydraulic motors or whatever, you can spin your motors and see the seeds dropping. One, one area you might use this is uh, in the software now they've got built in that um, if it thinks you're planting in dusty conditions, you, you, you'll get a little, a little uh, pop-up, a stationary pop-up on the home screen that says dusty conditions. What that means is that the system thinks that it's pretty dusty because anything that gets thick enough in, if dust gets thick enough in your seed tubes, uh, anything that will break that light beam, it'll, it, it doesn't know any better. It thinks it's a, it thinks it's a seed. So uh, if it's real dusty, uh, it, could, it could count false seeds. Um, I had one situation last year where uh, the, the, the population right beside the drive tires on a 24 row planter was uh, was breeding falsely high because the drive tires were kicking up more dust right in that seed tube area and it was getting too thick in the seed tube and it was giving it a false population reading. So you could come in here and reset that counter and watch those two rows and compare <coughs> how many seeds has it seen compared to the other rows that, that aren't, that, that are planting normal. Just kind of see if that's uh, if you're on to something. So that, that's one of the benefits of wave vision is that wave vision is immune to dust. It, it's it's not an optical eye sensor.